So, many people confuse being cheap and being frugal as the same thing. But there are some key differences between the two. And if you're not careful, you might end up being cheap when you really want to be frugal. And so this video is all about explaining the differences between being cheap and being frugal. So let's get right into it. Welcome to Millennials with Money. My name is Johnny. So difference number one, being cheap looks only at the price tag, where being frugal looks at the price tag and the value that it brings. When you're being cheap, you'll see everything as too expensive and you'll only buy absolute necessities and you'll ask yourself, what is the absolute minimum amount of money I can get away with spending, regardless of whether it meets your needs or not. Whereas being frugal looks at the price tag and looks at the value that it brings. When I think about this first point, a famous quote from Warren Buffett comes to mind, which is, price is what you pay and value is what you get. Being frugal may mean that you pay more for something, but you may get a better quality or a better return on your investment as a result. Let's take the example of a haircut. So I once mistakenly accepted a free haircut. Um, and yes, I got the haircut for free, but the job was terrible, let's be honest, uh, because I went to a hairdressing salon where people were learning how to cut hairs. So although I got a free haircut, the quality was terrible. What I used to do before that, and what I've gone back to doing, obviously, is going to a barber um, and paying for a good quality haircut that will make me look presentable and smart. Difference number two is that being cheap is a very short-term mindset. It looks at the right now, whereas being frugal takes into account more longer-term consequences. Because you see everything is so expensive and you want to get the absolute cheapest product right now, you don't necessarily take into account the longer term consequences of that. You think, what has the minimal impact on my current financial situation at this point in time? Whereas being frugal, you understand that you might have to pay a little bit more for something today and it might be a stretch financially, but over the long term, you'll save money because of the returns you'll get on the product. So let's look at a couple of examples of this short-term mindset. Let's say you need a new pair of shoes and you don't really care about fashion or about brands or any of that. You might just go to even the supermarket and just get the cheapest pair of shoes that looks slightly presentable. And it might cost you, I don't know, 10 pounds, 10 euros, whatever it is. But more likely than not, within a few months, definitely less than a year, those shoes will be worn out and you'll need to replace them again. Whereas if you get a good quality pair of shoes, um, that you may have to pay a bit more for, that maybe look a bit more presentable, but are more durable, then over the long term, they will last you years and years and you may not ever have to replace them. And that will be a way of saving money over the long term. Another example, if you're a creative professional, could be buying good quality equipment at the very start of your journey. Yes, to start out, you probably don't need the absolute top of the range uh, equipment, but if you get something mediocre, something adequate, within a year probably as you get better and better at your craft you'll have to replace it it will make much more financial sense to buy something good quality to begin with maybe do a bit of research get the knowledge that you need to understand what is good quality but buy it first time around don't wait until you've got better and you need to upgrade make that initial investment first and so what i've kind of just started to explain there is my third point which is that being cheap can actually be more expensive over the long term because you need to constantly replace something um, because you didn't plan ahead for your needs then you may have to spend more money in the future than you otherwise would have had to if you just made the initial investment i want to give you some more examples so i gave you the shoe example which is where you need to frequently replace things but another example could be let's say you're buying a car and you buy the cheapest second-hand car one day it's gonna break down and you're gonna need either a new car or you're gonna to need to repair it. And the cost of that is probably a lot more expensive than if you just bought something really high quality or of good enough quality in the first place. And another example could be maybe that you don't take care of your health today. Maybe you don't invest in um, health and fitness or eating well, you just buy the cheapest food. And then one day you may have to face um, medical or health consequences as a result, which is obviously not something you want. So I hope this video has been useful to you in explaining the differences between being cheap and being frugal. Leave a comment and let me know, did you learn something in this video and how are you gonna be more frugal the next time you go and buy something? Now check out these videos if you enjoyed this one. And if you wanna see more content like this and you're not yet subscribed, then make sure you hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. I'll see you on the next one and let's get this money.